Hello everybody, it's Larry, and I'm back here with another big show, big show for y'all, big show, big show, and today we have Burger King, I can probably count on my hand the time we had Burger King on for 2019, not too often, I'm not a big or a Burger King fan, but First time I've ever had one of these, uh, I was going to say fake meat, but they're, they should be a little bit more respectful. This is the Impossible Burger. Oh, did you really see that? Kind of just flashed it with all the grungemans on it, grungemans or whatever you want to call it. And then this one here is the good old USA. Made from our patriotic cows. So, I think we'll take a bite of the regular one first. Should we take a bite of the regular one first? See what we got. I think that'd be a good idea. side of it. It's got a knife sticking out of its head. I mean, it's ready to go. Okay, let's try this impossible one. Tastes about the same. Very good. Just a tad more salty. Um, that's about it. difference at all. Because, uh, 
a hint of cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, nothing like that. I can't tell the difference. Not a cringe joke. Here we go. A man walks into a bar with a seeing eye dog. Seeing eye dog. He grabs the dog by his collar and starts swinging the dog around above his head. So he's swinging that poor dog around by his head. His seeing eye dog. Everyone says stop and staring upset. One guy says, what the hell are you doing? And the blind guy replies, oh, nothing. Just looking around. Just looking around. I'm just looking around. Okay, another bite of this impossible burger. It's really good. Um, to you the truth, I can't tell the difference. Where are my shades go? Uh, my trademark shades, which I just arranged all up. Okay, so. We got the joke in. I'm gonna to have to give these a tie. I can't tell a different song. They're both very good. They're both very, very, very good. Um, I'm also surprised because a lot of people say they can tell the difference. Um, I can't tell the difference at all. Grab a piece of meat out of here. Just a tad bit saltier. Um, it's got a little greasy taste, just like a cow one. Um, I got a feeling it's got a chance of putting Burger King's cows out of business. I don't know. But can I pass the X test? That's the big problem. Good sandwiches. No complaints. Even though I'm not Burger King's biggest fan. Uh, I got a story about Burger King too, you wouldn't believe. I used to be on the board at Burger King. They used to be headquartered in St. Louis in the 80s and 90s. And do all their research and development in St. Louis. And I was usually on the panel to test new stuff, in my opinion, until they put two and two together and figured out I was running over them and burning them at the same time I'm testing them. That turned into a little fiasco. Um, hmm. But that's another story for another time. So, until then, everybody, we're going to say, We'll see y'all later.
It's been nice seeing everybody again. I hope you enjoyed your Burger King. I hope you enjoyed seeing me. I see you. You see me. And we'll see you later. Bye.